while we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like <laughs> Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Sterling is five years the elder. McGregor will have a three-inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Uniondale, New York, Al Jermaine Punk Master Sterling. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so got the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side and on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Crunch over the top. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Much 
right hand is true. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Wench for the inside leg kick. Big punch land. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Oh, misses with the jab. Well placed kick there by Sterling. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. Conor McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. 26 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Oh, a huge block there. Ooh, what a punch. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They got to bronze that left hand and put in the Hall of Fame. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's going to throw that punch. Kick to the body by McGregor. Just over two minutes to go. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Beautiful kick. Missed with that right hand. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And he landed the right hand there. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Right on the button. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Under a minute now to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Head kick lands. Hook to the body here, blocked by Connor. Leg kick. Sterling's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Straight punch lands. Final seconds of round one. Goes back to that left kick once again. Five minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. He was all over you, but you're better than that. Come on now. Let's shake it out. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with 
any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Section. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one anymore. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Drop that left on him. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Just missed with the leg kick. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done off in the night. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Well, these numbers aren't official, but they are strong. 73 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. And landing with 43% accuracy against Aljamain Sterling. Let me see that hook now. Big kick land. Just over three minutes to go. Sterling's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Nice body kick. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motions at which he moves. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice. Just missed with the left there. He got the turtle in that kick. Nicely done to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. One more takedown. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Checks the leg kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Knee to the body. Go, 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 go. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, nice punch there by Sterling. The next with a right. So he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you try to knock me out, you can one knee to the body. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Effective punch there by McGregor. So far.
with kicks or All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Nice punch there by McGregor. Oh, nice combination from McGregor. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. And he continues to work the body here. So the unofficial numbers, 123 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And dipping just below 50%, by the way, 43%, the accuracy rate on the striking attempts against Aljamain Sterling. What a tricky head kick. Beautifully placed in time kick there by Connor. Watch knees to the body. Sterling gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Just over three minutes to go. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, strong punch there by Connor. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie reach back inside and try to find space. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Sterling gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's income. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Here we go. Punch to punch. Combination. Three punch combination. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Keep your hands up. Let's go. 90 seconds to go. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land his strike. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Superman punch. Yeah. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, suddenly, he'll change his stance. Sterling gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Right hand landed. 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And that one certainly found the target. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Effective punch there by McGregor. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big kick land. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparel. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Liver kick. Sterling's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Big power shot there. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by McGregor. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Ooh, big shot lands. That's a good right hand. And both guys really flowing with authority. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice head kick. Right hand upstairs. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Beautiful strike. with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Nice kick. Oh, good kicks there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Sterling. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. And right there, his opponent's wobble check. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. No wasted motion on those kicks. There's no tell. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Great punch. Oh, man, head kick land. Back and forth we go here.
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little. Less than one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh! Great punch landing with so much power. Visibly limping here. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round mercifully comes to an end, and how about the cut on his lip? Really, really bad. If that thing gets any worse, they're gonna certainly have to stop this fight. The doctor looks like he's already gonna be called in here. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, next round is underway, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me, DC. Maybe, maybe they're doing your sprint work in the training camp or something. I mean, these guys are known for working very, very hard. Both of them make cardio a very key factor in their preparation, and it's showing on both sides of the octagon. Nice loop and punch. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the point was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Head kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Not there. Good punch land. Beautiful body kick. Caught the kick. Unable to connect with the right. Real quick leg kick. Hurt. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Good stick. looking for here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, the competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. First buffer with the official Eagle decision. Let's call the stop to this contest at one minute, 43 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be.